Okay, and welcome back to Midlander Gaming. Uh, finally got another update for my list, uh, the army list I'm building for the game with Rob. It is all complete, finished painting. Um, just a little bit of touch up on detail parts, but essentially it is all complete for gaming at least. Um, so I'll just give you a bit of a recap of what we've got here. So, switching across the screens. There we can see my remaining three Yag Panthers. Um, you can see the paint scheme or the method of paint. So prime with a Dunkel Gelb colour, add in some kind of a reddy brown and a Vallejo paint and a, I think it's Gunship Green or something like that. It's probably on in the background if you can't see the name. Um, Vallejo paint, a um, couple of layers just to get a roughly smooth, I don't worry too much about the, the uh, standard at this stage but roughly smooth layer um, to get rid of the brush strokes and the kind of it's a bit see-through after the first layer um, so yeah random sort of shapes and and uh, camouflage pattern don't follow anything in particular just make it up as I go along uh, let's move on a bit just to re jig the uh, the layout you can see all three completed there from another angle um, and then here we go, the room, everything that I had remained to paint, um, all with the gam camouflage stage done. So that's the, just a prime and these three colours, or two colours added. Um, and then uh, what was stopping me finishing off before is was the decal, so I've applied these, um, adding a little bit of decal fix first and then adding the, the German symbol um, to the half tracks and the two anti-tank, whatever they're called. I can't remember the name because of the H, not the Hummel, but the other one. Um, so yes, yeah, so that's the stage. I don't worry too much about what it all looks like at this stage because I'm going to go through all the um, processes with the washes and the dry brushing and things. Um, so that's how it looks at this point. I'm moving on to the next image. Um, so you can see here the decal applied to the anti-tank ones. Um, again, just but on a bit of a decal fix now the half tracks and these ones I actually forgot to put the decal medium afterwards over it um, but luckily when you go I then apply the wash and it kind of uh, blends it all in anyway using the wash and then dry brushing it so a bit fortunate really um, and this is a bit more of a finished position on the half tracks so what it's my the sepia is the wash I use for the the bodywork. So sepia wash is added, um, then dry brushed with a pale sand. Uh, I do the edges first to take the worst of the paint off the dry brush first, and when it's pretty much nothing left, do a full dry brush over the rest of the bodywork. And I just find that just uh, softens the um, the paint painting up and just gives it a bit more of a feathered and softer look to the um, the lines um, between each color um, and then just picks out obviously the detail like the rivets and and the edges of the uh, raised section windows and, and hatches and things like that so yeah that's done and then I've started painting the men and the guns as well just to uh, uh, start picking those out just to make it look a bit more finished this is just from a, another angle and another lighting so it just drastically changes how it looks um, and that is the, the list just as another image um, all together um, and then here you can see I've just painted up the tracks now using a it's a contrast paint something sewer like Gagarax sewer or something I can't remember the name but it's kind of a dirty oily brown color so I think it looks good for tracks um, painted up the wheels with a basilicum gray contrast right black uh, contrast paint sorry because that's kind of a bracky blacky gray color I think works quite well for rubber tires and then agrax earth shade in for the washing the wheels area just to give it a bit more of a darker color to the, the body work um, and shade it in a little bit uh, for the bits that are awkward to get to with a brush the uh, agrax earth shade then covers it all up and then started picking out the stowage um, i don't think i've fully completed it but i've got it roughly there um, you can see inside a little bit so the men painted up them with the contrast paints, um, same colours that I'd done the uh, the based infantry in. Didn't spend too much on time on them, just picked out a bit of flesh, um, went over with a skeleton horde contrast paint on on the fatigues and a military green contrast paint on the on the trousers. 
um, and then the whatever the contrast I think last drag yellow or something for the helmet um, but yeah just so when you look at the uh, inside of the the troop compartment so I've gone around before doing the infantry I went around the inside of the troop compartment with a sepia or in certain areas I might use that graphic so show to make it darker but mostly a sepia wash just to give some uh, definition inside as well and that is the list fully complete so you can see i've added the tracks colors to all the others as well and uh, doing the same went inside with a uh, agrax earth shade now i have actually i believe i've picked out these road wheels now as well so i have done more than what this image shows um, i think i've missed these tracks here so when i've painted all the tracks up i caught them on the uh, half tracks but these are uh, tracks on the side of the ag panthers i've missed but there are lots of little bits that i want to continue um, just to finish off but for all the intents and purposes um, it is gaming ready at least and a full army complete um, and this is just me experimenting with uh, a different camera because all those previous images were with a phone um, with poor dining room lighting so this is just trying out an old SLR camera that I dug out and different um, settings just to see if I can get some better images um, and there we go that's the full list laid out so that's uh, the list i'll be taking it's exactly as per the the box set the german heavy tank hunter uh, panzer group panzer no tank hunter camp group i think it is um, but basically exactly as that box set just with the addition of the observer by which i can add in easy enough by taking out the cards um it's only one point um, so there we go so a little infantry the actual formation is one hq for jag panther two h uh, two troops of jag panthers a troop of two of these anti-tank guns and a troop of two ostwinds so that is the formation so it's not a great formation very very small and fragile unfortunately and everything else is support so some uh, recce pumas hummel artillery with an observer and then my infantry with the four half tracks as another support section and finally three panzer fours so not not an ideal list size wise and you know, formation could be quite easy to break but it was a box set and a full 100 point list all straight out from a box set by the addition of an of a observer so nice and easy and it gives me one of most things to actually use in the game so i'm trying a bit of everything out artillery recce um, tanks and tank hunters and infantry and half track transport so i feel it gives me a nice uh, spread of um, unit types and um, so i'm looking forward to a game so that is uh, my list as it stands and what i did was I went into my games room uh, just with a bit of better lighting, the strip lighting in there, LED lighting, and hopefully took some better images um, just to show off the army a little bit better. Um, so this is what here is. So there's my completed infantry on the the um, bases that you, you can buy extra with all the little uh, bit of terrain built into them. Um, so yeah, hopefully the lighting it gives a bit of a true reflection of the actual colours of the the, the paint scheme. Um, I love love pumas, but let's just keep closing on the puma. Um, so you can see here that uh, my Yag Panthers, and you can see I've still not done the track. So yeah, I've got to got to get those finished off. Um, but I think for gaming purposes, it's all it's all fine. Um, looks good on the on the board, I think. Uh, hopefully you agree so really the only stage left now is to actually have a game so unfortunately it's had to go back a week just because of real life uh, things are getting in the way and um, that's the full list there a uh, lot of use against rob bit concerned about how small it is i've not seen Bolt, rob's uh, army list as uh, models but i've seen it on paper and it seems to be uh, a bit larger than mine so i think what i'm gonna have to do uh, give it away tactics here against rob but use the long range of these top five tanks here to try and pop some uh, armor as early as possible before they are challenged um pin down his infantry with my artillery and advance with my own mechanized artillery that's kind of 
with the help of some scout moves from the pumice. That's kind of my my thoughts. Ostwings can give some kind of anti-infantry support and then my Panzer fours can just race around to be wherever the, they're needed most. That's, that's my theory and we'll see how it goes. So uh, there we go that's my list complete. I uh, hope it looks okay. <laughs> Good join. Um, so joined by the little one here. So do you want to say hello? No. No? Okay. I see us. Yes, go on then. Say hello to everyone. Hello. <laughs> okay, you go watch that and I'll come back to join you in a minute. But I'm hungry okay. and thirsty. Hungry and thirsty. Okay. The joys of trying to do a video when you've Maybe got little you ones. Maybe can do it at the same time. Do it at the same... I don't think I can do it at the same time. I'll pause this and then I'll come and help you, okay? <laughs> right, so that is the list. Um, and I'll uh, catch you later. Thank you very much. Okay, so I had a bit of an interruption there. Um, might happen again, but that's what you get when you're uh, looking after the children and your wife's working. So... Um, I'm trying to squeeze in there. This, this is kind of why it takes time to, you know, I'm sure you're all aware of why it takes sometimes a bit of time to complete your your, your geek hobby. Um, you can work it around real life. Um, but anyway, that is the army list done and all ready for our game. It's had to be put back, like I was saying, for, for a week. So it's now going to be on the 17th of March. Just life has got in the way, unfortunately. I've had to push it back, and Rob, fortunately, has been okay with pushing it back, um, accommodating. So thanks, Rob, for that. Um, but yeah, all ready for the game. Board is ready. I actually tried out the board the other day with a game of bolt action. Now, um, it actually worked really well, just removing the 15mm um, houses and replacing them with a couple of uh, bolt action size houses. And it was still a, a very usable board, so I'm really happy with that because I did want to try and get a board that was usable across the two scales. Uh, I think I've achieved that. The only thing that was, I wouldn't say it was out of scale, but the roads just switched from being a twin track in Flames of War to a single track for bolt action. But it still worked fine and looked fine. Um, and yeah, the, I was really happy with the board. It's probably the best board. Of, I mean, I'm not saying it's an amazing board, but it's probably the best board I've ever had. Um, I've always had very basic boards um very rough and ready um, minimal terrain sort of thing you know minimal um sometimes not even painted terrain so i'm a bit happy with uh, how the boards come out i'm going to do a bit more work, work on boards and, and different style of boards so i've got a desert board and a snowboard to to uh, at some point create um so looking forward to that and that will hopefully suit my other armies that i've got to use um yeah, so, and that, I guess that kind of alludes to, the, I mean, the bolt action to future um, playlists as well. So I'll be doing some bolt action videos, um, some, again, similar to this, some painting videos of how I've got to, and hopefully some bolt action games for my fellow companions when once we've learned the game. So our game on Friday, just gone two days ago, was our very first game, or my first game at least. Um, so that was a slow game, tried to learn the rules. Um and also we'll be trying out victory at sea so i'll have a, hopefully some games of victory at sea i've got a royal navy fleet fully painted a um, couple of extra models not complete but i've got more than enough for for a game um, and then i've got a us navy fleet that's not painted yet um, i have started it um, so hopefully we'll get some victory at sea games in some bolt action games in um, and then you know as time permits uh branch out to other areas as well so i've got some lord of the rings games i'd like to play as well uh, get those filmed um and then maybe yeah, maybe some other uh, areas as well we've got lots of other games we play over time but black seas and other things so but i think for now we'll uh, concentrate on the flames of war and the bolt action so looking forward to it thank you for joining me and hopefully um, we'll get another video in prior to the game on the 17th of march because that's uh, a few weeks away yet um, and next week we're actually visiting warlord games hq as well to get some more bits and bobs for bolt action that you can't get online very easily because they're direct only um, so yeah nice trip up to warlord games on um 
the well, is it next week the uh, 25th or something of, of February or something around there anyway the Sunday um, so yeah looking forward to that uh, and uh, hopefully get some another video out very very soon uh, thanks for watching bye bye